Hello everyone and happy Halloween! Where today we are celebrating Halloween with a moon's magical build. I have a really cool idea in mind of making like a kind of sheltered Halloween town type thing. I got a lot of inspiration watching one of Grian's uh, Hermitcraft episodes where he did that really cool night sky effect and I'm going to attempt to do that today but with a little Halloween twist and use it to create a spooky town village thing and we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited about it and hope you are too. So without there's really no need for me to keep rambling on, so let's let's hop into a nice long time lapse of me building this thing.
right here it is my village dome thing with its weird black cement roof that's covering my cool night sky effect i really love this wall walls are one of my favorite things to build in minecraft i don't know why but there's just there's so much cool things you can do with walls and this is one of my favorite walls i like how it has faces and the red and the purple and the deep slate it's a weird mix of blocks but i think it works so i like it and then we come inside and we're welcomed with that really cool night sky effect that I I learned from Hermitcraft and Green who learned it from, from Reddit. And we enter into this little village which has multiple parts and lots of mobs racing about because it's dark in here. And I need mobs on for one of the shops so that means we have monsters about. And I think it kind of adds for to the effect so this is a monsters village. So obviously bats and monsters are roaming around because this is their home. This is their village. They live here. We of course have the giant pumpkin patch because I felt like it's Halloween and what's Halloween without a giant pumpkin patch? A few giant pumpkins as well as some epic jack-o'-lanterns to spread some light and you know, shroom lights in the water and stuff. And then one of my favorite parts of this place is the graveyard. I came up with two different gra- oh, I've fallen in a grave with the Enderman. Uh, so one of my favorite parts about this build are the two different tombstones I used. I like them both. I have a little cross and then just the classic one. And on it, I have the little poems on each, which is dare to die, come back to life, walk the earth in spirit form. This one, oh, I keep falling into the graves. I'm sorry. I came back when King Knight, guided by stars, one with the dark. Uh, body gone, soul now one with ground, but not for long. I fall. Uh, and then the last one is, hear the call of death's hold, coldness, nothingness. It's kind of like little things that, I don't know why, but I did. I have a tree that's kind of holding on to life. It's got a few leaves scattered around, but it is slowly dying, so... That's my dead tree. And then, of course, you have the church, only it's not a true church because these are evil spirits have fully taken over. So they've, they've taken the cross off, and it's totally not because the roof is so low that I can't fit a cross. No, that's not the reason. They've The monsters have taken the cross off to protect themselves. And inside, you have, like, a little pulpit and this little lectern for someone to speak at and there's grand paintings and stuff. And a lot of people, a lot of people in the church today, that it's a, it's a busy service. Uh, I like that sometimes the monsters will spawn and then can spawn in here or fall in and you have monsters like hanging out in the grave. I think that's funny. But then we come to the town, which the backside's not decorated, uh, just because it just didn't make sense, so I wasn't quite sure what to do, and it ruins the interior for me to decorate the back, so I kind of just left it, but if you come into the town, you have two main buildings on this side and a bunch of tiny cute shops on this side, so we're going to go through each of the shops. We have the potions room, which has like potions along the top and chests where they sell them and cauldrons and netherwork growing there. Um, next you have spell books, which is just a little bookshop with some cute paintings on the wall. Uh, we have uh, the gardening one which has chests and different plants that you can get and like growing vines uh, oh my gosh that scared me he scared me you can just chill in there forever my goodness dude uh we have the little pet shop uh no this is the food mart which is just some chests which different things that they might eat such as like puffer fish and blood and cakes and golden apples and different meats and seaweed and rotten flesh because I feel like some people have some weird appetites here, okay? Uh, we're not one to judge. Monsters eat different. Then we have my favorite shop, which is the little pet shop where I have the different pets in jars. I have two bats. All of them are named for sale, to keep them for sale. We have a shulker up in the corner. We have a slime in a jar. We have the little endermite in this jar. And then we have a phantom. So you can like buy these cool little monster things as pets. And these are just examples of pets these guys might have, which I think is super cool. Uh, moving on to the weapons, we have different armor types, as well as like a full-blown blast furnish to do your smelting and making of the tools, which I think is fun. Uh, then you have the house of uh, decor. So we have like a bunk bed and this weird like high shelf and a lamp and then some like little decoration things and also some paintings for sale and stuff. Uh, also this weird rug that you can buy too. You can buy a corner rug. Lots, lots of fun things for sale. And then there's also a flower in here because they want to liven up the place because this is the one shop where it's not all dark and depressing. 
Uh, and then when you have one that's just closed, boarded up, the shop didn't do well. Uh, also known as I could not think of another shop for, for some reason, so I was just like, screw it. The shop's just closed. There is no lights in here. It's covered in cobwebs. There is holes in the floor. I put holes in the wall, but then it would break into the other buildings and I don't want that, so just holes in the floor. And I liked how all of them had the window panes of like one with all the colors and like this is the color theme of the area and I think that's fun. Uh, then if you come down here and you go down this main strip here, that's is where the two doors to the different uh, the bigger buildings are, one of which is a cute little restaurant with some seating area. Look, some guys are already chilling out eating. And then in here you have the little kitchen with a bunch of furnaces and the one sole cutting board to help you feed all these people. Have fun with that. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, so you have a little restaurant in here, which I think is fun. And then over here is the hotel. Got your grand reception desk. You have your little waiting area. And then you have a bunch of rooms, each kind of looking the same. They've got the bed, a lamp, and chess. So all of them are the same in that sense. Just a little bit of light, a place to sleep, and a place to store your stuff when you're journeying. In here the, is the biggest room, so you get two chests because it's fancy like that. And then here's the smallest room with only one chest, so... And then the uh, these two are the same as the other ones. And that's the entire build! I took a lot longer than you'd think it would. Like, it looks small, but there's a lot of details and time, and, like, that took forever. Even with world edit, the glass, the ceiling takes ages, and... I am, but I'm really pleased with it. I think it's really cute. I think it screams Halloween. This is a Halloween dome and a Halloween village, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I hope you guys are also happy with it and that you guys enjoyed watching this and the time lapse and ooh, that's a weird effect and seeing like some things that you can come up with Halloween I hope you especially like the Halloween shops I think that's my favorite part of the build but I would be interested to hear what your favorite part is it the grave area the pumpkin patch the, the little shops did you like the hotel did you like the dome itself with the cool sky yeah I, I want to know what you guys your favorites are let's start a conversation in the chat but this is all I have time for today. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!